it's Michelle, your CSC Biology Tutor. Welcome back to my channel. And with the new school year in full swing now, I figured it was a good time to bring you my number one tip to learning more effectively and studying more productively. So if you've been having a hard time and you're struggling with remembering all of those biological terms and definitions and processes, well, this video is for you. So keep watching. So anyone who is studying biology knows that there are a lot of topics to cover on the syllabus. Yes, a lot of topics. So you have to remember all kinds of diagrams and processes and definitions and cycles and the list goes on. So starting off your school year on the right track is important if you're going to go forward learning more effectively and studying more productively. So what I would suggest is to find out your learning style. So many of you may have heard of learning styles before, but maybe you never really paid it much attention. But trust me, when you realize your learning style, it is going to help you to approach studying and absorbing information in a way that is suitable to your learning style. So once you know your learning style, then you can use the appropriate strategies to help you retain information much better. So let me share with you the four different learning styles. And I want you to comment below which one of these sound like you. You have the visual learner, the read write learner, the auditory learner, and the kinesthetic learner. So let me share a little bit about each of these types of learners and you can let me know which one you are. Okay, so first of all, the visual learner. This is the person that learns best through looking at pictures and images, charts, diagrams. So they're very visual as the name implies. So they learn best through what they see. So they, they like to see lots of color. So looking at a textbook, they will prefer textbooks with lots of, of pictures. So that is what is going to attract their attention and help them to remember information better. Now, the second type of learner, the read-write learner, this is the one that likes to do a lot of reading. So they enjoy reading through textbooks, lecture notes, um, and while they're reading, they also like to write lots of notes. So they learn best through what they read and what they write down. The third type of learner is the auditory learner. So as the name implies, it has to do with audio, hearing. So this type of learner, they learn best through hearing people speaking. So for example, a teacher talking in class, they can process information better through listening. So they would enjoy also listening to music. So songs, music, you know, catchy, catchy um, rhythms that can capture the attention and help an auditory learner to retain information better. So they learn through hearing. Now the last type of learner is the kinesthetic learner. So this is the hands-on type of person. They like to perform practical activities in order for them to actually understand what's going on. So they, they like to do. So they learn through doing, doing things. So I wonder which of these sound like you. Sometimes you may even be a combination of more than one type of learner. So for instance, me personally, I am a visual learner, but I also have a piece of read-write learner in me. So I like to see pictures and colors. 
and I also like to write down a lot of information. So once you know your learning style, you can now apply the best study techniques and strategies that will help you to maximize your learning potential. So I am going to share with you some useful active learning strategies that you can apply when you are going into study mode, especially for exams, but generally speaking throughout the school year. So first of all, visual learners. So remember, they like to see lots of images. So it would make sense to incorporate diagrams. So whether these are diagrams and pictures within the textbook that you're reading, or even making your own diagrams. So that would be useful. Also, another good tip would be utilizing flashcards. These flashcards can have a combination of diagrams and pictures along with the words or definitions that you're trying to remember. So think of it this way. So the visual learner can connect a picture, a diagram to the concept and they can remember it better because that is how their brains are trained to retain information. So flashcards are very useful for visual learners. So just make sure that when you are studying, you're utilizing lots of images. Videos can also be helpful too, because videos, especially with animations that show different processes, that would be definitely beneficial to you as a visual learner. So remember, you are learning best through what you see. So try to make your study sessions more colorful. So if you have certain topics that you need to do or sections of the syllabus, you can highlight them in different colors. When you are making flashcards, highlight them and underline them in different colors. You can use highlighters, you can use pencil crayons, just make your work colorful because that's what's going to appeal to your attention. So those are some tips for the visual learner. Now for the read-write learner, so since they obviously like a lot of reading, it would make sense for them to, to read a lot. So obviously reading is essential across the board. I don't believe you can get away from reading, but for the read-write learner, they will retain most information directly through reading. So it's important for the read-write person to perhaps make summary sheets. So when they're going through, when you're going through a topic, make a summary sheet of the particular topic. And you can also use the color-coded method that the visual learner can use to make the notes look a little more attractive, a little more exciting. So those would be some suggestions for the read-write learner. So while reading, you're writing notes and you can make summary sheets for the topics that are covered, especially now when you're preparing for the exams, you have a summary sheet for each topic. And since you enjoy reading, you can read through the, the summary sheets and get yourself prepared. Okay, so let's talk about the auditory learner. So what, what kind of techniques would work for the auditory learner? So since they like to listen to songs, people speaking and that kind of thing, a great tip for an auditory learner would be to record your teacher, your lecturer during class. No, of course you need to ask for permission. And when I say record, we're just talking about a voice recording. You don't necessarily have to do a video recording, obviously, because you really want to capture their, their voice, their words, what they are teaching. So when you make a recording of each class, so this may take up a lot of space if you're using your phone, so make sure you get a good memory card. So take these recordings and you can replay these recordings as often as you like. So 
you will be retaining the information more the more you replay the recordings. So remember, learning through listening, that works best for you. So that is the number one tip for the auditory learner. Um, also getting into groups because you tend to retain information best when you also hear conversations. So if you're in a study group and you're discussing topics and concepts, you might remember the information better. You might remember your friend saying X and then the other friend saying Y and the information would be more easily retained just by listening to these conversations and discussions. So I would definitely recommend study groups, discussion groups for the auditory learner. And how can I forget? An auditory learner, as I would have mentioned before, they will learn best through songs. So listening to songs um, with catchy rhythms, or you can even create your own little song, like a rap, some rhythm that is catchy that you can remember certain processes or lists, whatever the case is. Every plant can do this fundamental process, and we can call this photosynthesis. But the, re the repetition, the rhythm, that is going to be great for you as an auditory learner. Now, the kinesthetic learner, so this is the hands-on learner, they are going to learn best, as I said, with practical activities. So you need to pay special attention in your lab sessions. So that is when you're going to be performing experiments. So the lab sessions are really your, your forte. You like lab sessions for the most part. You may not like writing them up, but you like the lab sessions. And you can actually do something and see results of what you have done. So lab sessions are important. Also creating models. So like for instance, if you're trying to understand the structure of the cell, um, cell division, so mitosis and meiosis, it will be good to create models for these cells and the different stages in the process. And you can also do like flow charts and different models of cycles. You can get pretty creative. So the kinesthetic learner can use a little creativity and make things that would relate to the topics that are being covered, that you're learning. So color drawings, um, using clay, play-doh, anything that you can like mold and make maybe a model of a cell or an organ, whatever the case is, you can do that as a kinesthetic learner because remember you learn best by doing. And of course, going out into the natural habitats and looking at ecosystems and organisms, that would be definitely useful to you as a biology student. So you may find yourself outdoors a lot, especially when you're dealing with ecosystem study and that kind of thing. So those are some good tips for the kinesthetic learner. So try, try considering any of those practical activities that would help you retain information much better. So now that you know the number one tip for effective learning and you also have some learning strategies that I just shared, you can now move forward with confidence into the rest of the school year knowing exactly how you're going to approach your study. So. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Remember, comment below which of these learning styles you have. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a successful school year.